Good morning, this is Jim, Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Welcome to my shop and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, today's video, I'm, I'm going to say this may be a one or two part video. I'm not sure until I put this together. And if it is a two part video, then you'll see another opening. If it isn't, I've just run my mouth for nothing. <laughs> uh, recently, and uh, the slot probably hasn't came out yet, is uh, Anthony Brown down at Ragsdale Creek Workshop sent me a little care package and in it was several spade drills well, well the, the drill blades so I needed some holders for these drills and I got to looking online and that was very expensive on eBay and to suppliers so me being old broke retired dude that I am I got a machine shop, so I decided I was going to make some. So this is the finished product. This is a uh, this one is the very first one. I'm going to make several more off camera. This is a one and three sixty fourths. I got a Morris taper to fit the tailstock and everything. Uh, you'll see the video of the, how, what I did and how to make this. Uh, I want to thank Anthony for sending me these uh, spade drills. Uh, I really appreciate it. So with that being said. I hope you enjoy today's video. Uh, we are, we'll have it ready for you. You slide right on. Uh, you can peek over my shoulder, grab your salt drink, your coffee, or whatever you want to have to go with it, and uh, sit back and enjoy. The, uh, I'm going to say the start of this video, and if, if I get it in one, then that's great. If I don't, you understand why I've done it this way, because I'm shooting all the openings at one time. I don't want to have to come back. So I'm a little bit lazy. So let's get to slinging a little steel. Make some chips. So hope you enjoy this. Have a good one. See here on the table is the genesis of the next project. Uh, what we got here is a photograph, a spade drill, and a piece of steel. Uh, I researched these spade drill holders. And these spade drill holders are expensive. Somewhere around $125, $30, $40, $200 a piece. So I am decided I'm going to create my own for my spade drills that I got. So we're going to start with the biggest one and work down. So I determined that, it, that a quarter inch bolt will fit in this hole. And so what I've went out and found a piece of steel, so we're going to get started this morning. And the first thing we're going to do is just clean the end up. And this is just a piece of cold roll out of my bin outside, so I have no idea what the grade is or anything like that. We're just going to take a quick facing cut, clean it up. And... Uh, then we're going to pull it out and we're going to take a light OD turn. I'm going to make this thing about four inches long for drilling. Uh, that way it will be fairly rigid. another little cut there to make it clean up and uh, here we go so, this is just a piece of steel I'm like I say I just pulled it out of my scrap bin I have no idea what it is material wise it's some sort of a cold rolled steel We'll set up, and we'll turn a little bit. What I'm going to do is turn clearance in, actually. Okay, we're going to shoot for about 1 inch 50 thousandths. Just taking a cut and I'm gonna measure it after I get this cut done. See what I have. Okay. 
And again, I'm not sure what this material is going to be. The other side, we're going to true it up and turn it to... Uh, we're going to make it a Mars Taper 3 to fit into the chucks. That's part of the reason I selected the material. caliper and we're going to check the OD. <coughs> I just took a cut to see what I had just to clean up and I probably have to make at least one more because I'm just wanting it somewhere around. All right now I've got some clearance now actually. So okay so basically if I go about that I'll have the clearance I need for the drill so and it's going to give a little bit of that lunch. I'll bring you back when I finish this. There's no use for seeing this pass. That's going to be the finish. That's going to be the OD pass right there. Off camera, I made the first pass just to give me a little idea of what I have. <coughs> Looks like I'm going to need some more chamfer on it. Been hanging out like this. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see. I'm going to measure that right quick, see how much clearance I've got from here to there. And this is kind of where the drill's going to sit, so yeah, roughly a hundred thousandths. That's good right there. Alright, <coughs> well, I will need to file the bar here. I guess I'm going to have to try to cut that chamfer a little bigger. So We'll drop her down in lower gear and cut that chamfer here in a second. Okay, so I'm cutting the chamfer again. I'll probably, in the video process, eliminate the first chamfer cutting. And just stick with this one. Since it's working so well. I'm just running basically 75 RPM using my tool and just going in there and this is just what the chamfer is on the CNMG insert. So. All right. So I filed this. I'm going to go back and hit that again. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. And take the file and work this corner. Right here. Let's work this a little bit for file. Work this a little bit in the file to make sure this is nice and round. Now, what I'm going to do is when I go to the mill here in a little bit, I'm going to mill the slot and line all this up first. Provided I got the milling gutter I need. So that's the next problem. Okay, now, before I take this thing out, I went ahead and I marked my number one jaw. So I was going to get my run out close enough for this project. So now I'm going to insert this back in and I'm going to figure out where I'm going to cut it. I'll probably saw it first and then come back and face it. But I got to figure out what I need for my Mars taper. So let me just, I'm not, I'm just going to lay it in here and look at it and draw it up. But we're just going to use the cutoff on the lathe to do it. I think that'll be good enough to <coughs> save us a lot of trouble. So what I'm going to do I just get her started here and we'll go for it. We're going to clean this up. I'll make a light turn on this, not much, just enough to clean it before we go to the mill. You notice I got it up close to the chuck and everything I need to do. So, And I always part at fairly low speeds. The uh, Banggood inserts actually work pretty good. This one piece holder I made works really good too, so. You don't push it, I mean, 
I could run more RPM, but sometimes discretion is the better part of valor in this kind of stuff. Now, well, reason another reason I marked this <coughs> is probably once I cut the center slot and get all that figured out. I'm going to come back to the lathe and cut the marsh taper and then we'll put the slots in because we can do them long ways and that way I'll be able to hold it in the lathe because I really don't have any collets big enough to go up into the, the range I need to do this. So. I got several of these I'm going to make. <coughs> uh, probably I'm going to make one for each drill. I'm going to have a set of them what Anthony sent me. And then I'll probably have to make me a holder somewhere to put them where I can get to them. With the sizes engraved on them and everything. So This is going to be a long term project. You'll probably see me make one or two or make the one. The other ones I'll make off camera and then I'll have the set and I'll show them in a slop or something later on once I have the set made out of what he's given me. I mean, <coughs> probably what I'll do is drill a rough hole and come in with these to make bigger holes with because of the horsepower required to drill a, a spade drill. We're just about through. I just want to show you I can I can turn stuff off this size. I'm just holding my hand to catch it. It's just about through. There it is. Alright. We'll set up and face this off off. Now this lets you know what I've done is you remember me marking that jaw. So I'm just not I'm not turning this to a size. I'm just going to clean it. And this is basically going to be like a cleanup OD pass. Because I mean, I've got enough size to, to make my part with. So all we're going to do here is just turn this to a side just to get it cleaned up. Just give us a slick finish to work with. I marked, what I did is I put a mark for number one jaw. And that way I'll have reasonable run out. I mean, if you're really worried, you turn this between centers. I actually thought about doing it, but again, I'm going to cut the tapers this way too when I get to it. We're going to compound turn these tapers because of the, what we need. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of this turning, that's enough, you've you got the picture. One thing I did do while I was at it was tuck the file and soften these edges up a little bit. That way I won't risk getting the cut or anything while I'm working with these parts. So now I've got my blank ready to go to the mill. This will be an EMT and this will be the rest. So the blue mark will stay on it because I'll need that for some machining down the road in the mill. Now I've got this set up. What we're going to do is take this 3 316 3 mill and we're going to mill this thing out. Now I've kept the shank straight and I've also got to mill the flats in it. I did go back to the lathe and decided I'm turning this down to fit the inside of this area right here. So that's going to set right like that. That's kind of my plan right now. So we'll just see how this comes out. Again, I'm just kind of working off a picture. I have no idea this is going to work or not. So we just got to see. So I'm going to start the mill up and get a pass made. See how Now I don't know if you can see this or not, but the cutter fits in there good with a little bit of play. 
and that's what I want. So I've kind of figured out what I needed now. So I'm just got to get her down to depth. And then can't can't see it from this side. I'll pass the cutter over and show you later, but it will fit. Now I just got to keep milling it down. Okay, this is the last pass. I'm gonna give you a close up. Hopefully we don't have no accidents. Uh, I basically take, been taking 40,000 steps to cut. This is as deep as I can go. So this is the last pass. If we don't have no bozo at the end mill, we got it done. doing now I've got clearance here and I've got clearance there so everything's set for clearance pretty good there now I will have to drill the holes and mill it and cut the taper and that may be another day okay I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, this is if it, if I'm speaking to you now I've split this into two parts and this is the end of part one uh, I just don't want to make this thing too long and bore you to death. I hope you enjoyed uh, the progress we're making. I want to thank Anthony Brown for the uh, spade drills. I've got some more, obviously. I'm going to make them off camera. And with that being said, this is always remember, this is a copyrighted production of James Deadman's Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by today. I always appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, how about joining the family? If you've opened up this video before you went to full screen, there's a little block underneath it that says subscribe. If that sucker's red like my shirt, you're not a subscriber. How about doing that for me? And it don't cost you a blooming thing. There's no financial obligation. There's nobody going to call you and email you and bother you because you subscribe to my channel. It will be no robocalls. Nobody trying to say you extended warranty on your car or such so how about uh, clicking on that button while you're at it if you got something to say hit them comments on our smaller channels that's the way we interact with our people some of us folks like myself we can't get out and about as much as we'd like to <coughs> you know traveling costs us money and uh, obviously if you're subscribing to my channel you know i'm not big enough to get ads so and we're not got no ad revenue. We do this just because of pure enjoyment. So that's another way I get to interact with you, the subscribers. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Come back for part two, and we'll finish this sucker up. Have a great day.